Around his neck she put a toy An amulet to help him find the truth But it's hiding in the lies And so he wanders the endless road The barefoot boy called Kim He goes into the sunset And follows the dream that he In 1857, the greatest part of the Indian territories had been conquered by the British colonial empire. Among these was the state of Punjab, one of the wealthiest and most fertile regions of India. It was also a secular pole of attraction for the foreign invaders, Greeks, Persians, Turks, and Arabs. For over 4,000 years, they were content with the government of the capital, Lahore, until they felt the cannon of Zanzibar. <laughs> hey, you kids! <laughs> the first one that reaches the Zamzama is the master of the Punjab! of every conqueror of the city had been taken by the English. I am the master of the Punjab! Let's Boom. kick the English out of Boom. the war! No, stop it! Kim must leave! The English aren't wanted here! No, Kim's an Indian like we are! Do I look like a silly Englishman? Careful! A dangerous swarm of gnats draws near! Surrender, you traitors! Help! Reinforcements, quick! The enemy is attacking me! Capture those insects! Oh, they got me! <laughs> <laughs> Still the same old Kim. Become the governor general, and you'll be rich! Let us see the grand rascal! Hmm. Ah. Stupid Indians should put all of them in chains like the elephants. And if they rebel, whip them and whip them again! <laughs> I don't like the elephants! I don't like the English dogs at all! They're braggers and arrogant! <laughs> And they talk in a ridiculous way. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me! No one will be put in chains when I am master of the Punjab! Salima has given me a prophecy. <gasps> one day I'll meet a man on a white horse and then they'll make me king. Uh-oh. Well, if it isn't the ragamuffin's <gasps> king. <gasps> I'll give you a prophecy. Soon you'll meet a police officer who cut those thieving hands off. <laughs> Then I'll take it to the orphanage. Uh, you're never gonna hit me, but keep trying. You're dumb as a rooster and fat as a hippo. <laughs> Told you you couldn't hit me, fatty. Come on. <laughs> you can try harder than that. Exercise is good for you. I'll show you, you filthy street urchin. <laughs> Catch me! <laughs> Stop that boy! Stop! Return here immediately! Don't let him escape! All right, there he is! Get him! Hurry! Uh, he went this way. Come on, man. We've got him trapped now. Sooner or later, it's gotta stop. Hey, that's mine. Where's he gone? I don't see him. He can't get out of here. There's no exit from the plaza. I know you're in here. Watch out. Forgive me, my lord. 
Have you by chance seen a little boy with a cricket on his shoulder? I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Do you happen to know the time? Uh, six. Sucker. Uh, <laughs> my watch! Hey! Come back here! Come back! <laughs> 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 Wait, I can give you a hand. Here you go, have some. For you. Oh, thanks, I'll bring some to Salima. These are for you. Thank you so much, young man. Everyone knows you're always so generous. Salima, I'm back. Why is the shop closed? Hasn't anyone come to have their palm read? Oh, I was too tired to work. Look, Ali gave us this fruit for supper. Where did you get this pocket watch? How many times do I have to tell you you must stop stealing or you'll get yourself into big trouble? I didn't steal it, I bought it. And believe me, I got a really good deal. Of course you did. This morning, I returned to the Fathers of the Mission. You could go to school there. I'm not going to the orphanage. But why? You could attend and they dress you in the English school uniform. I don't want to be an Englishman. But your father was. I've never even met him. I don't have a father or a mother. I'm fine with my family on the streets. You cannot be a child of nobody. Kim, you will never amount to anything if you just live on the streets. Calm down. Everyone knows me and everyone's my friend. And of course there's you. Get used to the idea I'm not going to live forever. Think about your future. Why do you worry yourself, Queen of the Stars? My future is going to be magical and grand. That's what you foretold. The road to destiny can be deceiving, but I have something that will help you. <gasps> your father was a soldier in the English regiment. Here, take this. <gasps> what is it? Your mother gave it to me the night the English successfully occupied our city. You must always remember the prophecy of the Red Bull. It's a Red Bull in a sea of green! That's right, my little one. The Red Bull on the field of green will one day lead you to your destiny. And this flower, what does it mean? The road you take will be long, winding, and uncertain. You'll know you've reached your destiny when all things are united. But aren't you gonna eat anything? I'm too tired and my hands are hurting. My body feels like there's a storm coming. But there's not a cloud in the sky. Listen, Kim, mm -hmm. the prophecy continues. With the storm, someone will arrive, and someone else will leave. <sighs> well, no one's gonna arrive if there's a storm tonight. I'm going to sleep. Good night. This smells like goat's dung. Look at this old shoe. I'll say this belongs to a shepherd that comes from Kashmir. Ugh! Man, his feet stink! <laughs> <laughs> Observation. And him? Then observe him. He doesn't even seem like a man. <laughs> He's a man like everybody else, but he arouses a lot of curiosity. Can you please tell me, boy, what exactly this great house is? Certainly. It's the greatest museum in the East. Is it possible to enter without paying the fee? It costs five rupees, sir. That's the expected payment. Will this be enough? <sighs> It'll do fine. Let's go. <laughs> You're obviously not from around here. Are you from very far away? Why, yes. I come from the mountains, where the air and the water are fresh and clear. Have you ever heard of Tibet? I am a Lama, or as you say here in India, a guru. Understand? You're a Tibetan holy man. Huh? <gasps> How many times have I told you not to come in here? 
Did I not pay enough money to the guide? Listen, I'm the guide, and this small scoundrel has fooled you. Hmm? You better disappear or I'll call the police. Oh. Go on, get out of here. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to accompany you. I know hmm. this museum very well. Hmm. <sighs> Beautiful, don't you agree? Sir, I am here. You are a sign of my destiny for my pilgrimage. Wow, he's really crazy. He's talking to that picture. What has caught your eye? Hmm. Look, the young Buddha that cast the arrow. After she has cast her arrow, the arrow is in the eye's view and hits the ground. At that point, the sacred river that washes the sins of all who goes in it starts to flow. I am in search of the river of the arrow. <gasps> Tell me, my good man, if you've been here very long, would you know where the river of the arrow might be found? Sorry, sir. I don't think I can be of any help. Hmm. Think positively. It is very important that I find this river. It is my holy mission. Thank you, and the liberation from all things will go to he who helps me. Well, I'd love to, but uh, I... Uh... Dumb beast. The only wheel that he knows is the one that unscrewed from his brain the day he was born. So, have you satisfied your curiosity yet? What'll you do now? Good question. I've had neither food nor drink for seven days. Come on. Now just come over here, calm down, think clearly, and you'll discover what you need to. How do people wander about in this city? In silence as we do in Tibet, or as you might say, in a loud voice? He who begs in silence dies in silence. <gasps> oh, no! The lenses are broken. Give me the bowl. I'll find you some food. It shouldn't be too hard. Stealing as usual. Huh? What do you mean? I'll be back. See ya! Huh? Hmm? Oh. The holy man is nice, but he's as thin as a reed of bamboo. I need to give him something filling. Get your vegetables. Get your curry. Get is your vegetables. Is this curry any good? It's the best curry in Lahore if you've got the money to buy it. Hmm. Hmm? If you have a good heart, fill this bowl for a holy man that is so hungry he can hardly stand up. You call that a bowl that's bigger than that cow's belly? Get out of here. <laughs> oh no, the bull drama is going to eat my food. Ah, I'm sorry, but I arrived here first. Go on, get out of here. Go on. Since I just freed you from that beggar on four legs, you won't want to deny me some of your rice with the curry. Oh. That's very nice, but how about some rice and also some vegetable, for the good of your soul? That's funny, where did my holy man go? Huh? <laughs> You were really hungry. Mm. 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 I used to eat every day when I had my student with me. He was supposed to have accompanied me in my trip, but he has abandoned me. How are you going to find that river? River of the Arrow. How do you seem to know it? Oh, sometimes I'm a fortune teller. But I'm also on a mission. I have to complete a trip. I'm looking for a red bull and a man on a white horse. You know, I might become the master of the Punjab. So you can come with me to Benares. We could complete our searches together. I could teach you many things you need to know in life and help you with your aspirations. Believe me, I really would like to come with you, but I just can't leave Salima alone. You would have been a very good student. You don't want to start your journey now. At night, the roads are full of thieves. I will find you a place to sleep in the house of Barbarossa. He's a really good friend of mine. Come. He's a dealer of horses, and they call him Barbarossa because he has a beard the color of copper. When I'm in the city of Lahore, I do favors for him by delivering his messages. What kind of messages? Oh, I really don't know. At times, it's only pieces of papers that are punctured. And then sometimes I just make stuff up because the women have a weakness for Barbarossa. There he is. Bring him in the stall and tie him for me. Hey, <laughs> everyone's small friend. 
Did you see what a demon that horse was? I brought him from Kashmir this morning. I would like to introduce Teshu. He's come from Tibet to look for a sacred river. Do you think he could stay here for the night? It's no problem for me. If he doesn't mind sleeping with the horses, then by all means. It is said the company of animals is greater than the company of men. I've been out the whole night. There's a person I want to meet with that you know. Do you mean that Jasmine wants to see you? I didn't think she wanted to talk. That's why I've recruited you as a messenger. <laughs> you must change her mind for me. You got the right man for the job. Yep. I'll take care of it. Kim, what are you doing here? I'm paying my homages to the most beautiful girl of Lahore. Our pearl of the whole east, a tender flower with lips the color of roses, a starry sky. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. enough. I recognize the style of the poet and it doesn't enchant me anymore. Tell him to return to Kashmir. It's ended between us. Well, but he loves you. Loves me? And when does he love me? I have not seen him for months. I'm here waiting and he's on the mountains with his horses. Oh, uh -huh. Help a monster with hmm? antenna. Hmm? Help me. Oh. Oh. Get him away! Dree! Oh, a man! Get him! Dree! Come here! You have done well to follow him up to Lahore. He didn't only bring horses. By now, it's clear that during the trip, he has received something very important, and we must take possession of it if we want to discover where the English defenses are situated. Come, let's have a look at this map I found. Don't worry, we will find him and cut his throat. Excuse me, I've been looking for... And you! What do you want? Ah, uh -huh. did you ever hear of the concept of knocking before you come I'm in? sorry, Nababo, I didn't want to disturb you. I was looking for this, and here it is. It was here on the table the whole time. Enough! Be gone with you, girl! Excuse me, Nababo. I'm sorry to have disturbed you. Be well. If he had discovered us, he would have cut off our heads! Who were those ugly snouts that were here? I don't know. They are foreign guests from a faraway land. But go now and tell Barbarossa that tonight is too risky. The garden is full of watchmen. Bring this to Salima, and greet her on my behalf. I did it! I really did it! I got her to fall in love with him! Oh, oh no. poor woman. Can you believe it? So sad. Cut down in her pride. I had no idea that this would happen. Oh, oh. oh this is... Oh, poor boy. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, my. so sad. Oh. Salima, <laughs> queen of the stars. The then it was you that had to depart with the rain. Poor woman. She had been like a mother for me. I didn't think something this bad could ever happen. You must not be sad, for you see, now her soul is free and light like the wings of a dove in flight. Well, that may be good for her, but I might be in prison soon. If I'm not mistaken, the missionary fathers will bring me to the orphanage. You can stay with me if you want. Oh. I could use the help. I need some direction in my life, and I believe that Destiny wants me to go to Benares with Teshu, if he'll accept me as a student. I would be happy to take you with me. Then it's decided! Do you have any word on the other matter? Oh, she can't wait to embrace you. But this evening, the house and the garden are full of watchmen and strange men armed with machetes. These watchmen wouldn't happen to have big black turbans by any chance. I don't understand. Those are the same men that followed me down from the mountain. <laughs> hmm. You wouldn't want us to go hungry because you don't have a merciless heart. For the good of your soul, Barbarossa, why don't you give us at least a piece of bread? Always the moocher. Quit complaining already. Here you go. Huh. Hmm. <clears throat> Don't eat it all in one sitting.
me feel hungry holding this on my stomach. Better idea if you hold it. So if we cannot eat, we can merely distract our thoughts from hunger. How can you say that I don't think about you? Look at all these wonders I've brought you. No, huh? I don't want them. You have brought them with the money of the English. But aren't you ashamed to work for the invaders? Then even the mail carriers are among the traitors. You can at least take this ring, please. I risked my life for you to... No, I don't want them. They were spying on us! Be careful, my love. Come back soon. It's not in the stall. He must have hidden it in the house. Oh. Hey, didn't you hear that? No. What's that? Sounds like somebody's snoring. Your name is Demon, but you're really a nice horse, aren't you? <laughs> Going to depart now. <sighs> you still have that loaf I gave you? Uh, uh, hmm. <sighs> huh? <gasps> Barbarossa! <laughs> in the building of Nababo. I almost had him too, but one of those watchmen shot me in the leg. You're losing a lot of blood and need a doctor immediately. There isn't time. I must depart immediately for Umbala. What I have given you must not fall into their hands, understand? But you can't even stand on your own two feet. Umbala's on the way to Benares. No reason we couldn't bring it. It's too risky. I don't want you encountering any dangers because of me. Come on, my friend. Who would ever suspect a Tibetan holy man and his young student? Pay attention and don't forget what I have told you. Not to worry. I'll get this where it needs to go and nothing will be able to stop me. Have a good trip and good luck. And also to you. Do you think we'll ever be able to return? Yes, of course we will. Look, the horizon goes out, but the earth is round. Find the truth, but it's hiding in 